My name is Gene Allen, and this is the final video on PCI and FileSure. The last video that we're going to do here is going to be protecting the audit logs, which is the PCI requirement 10.2.3, 10.2.5, 10.5.2, 10.5.5, 10.6.1, 10.6.2, 10.6.3, 10.6.4, 10.6.5, 10.6.6, 10.6.7, 10.6.8, 10.6.9, 10.6.10, 10.
And then let's see what's our last requirement that we have to deal with. We have to retain the audit log for three years or for a year, and it has to be immediately, immediately available for three months. So let's take a look at our logs real quick. Let me explain them. If you look here, you'll see these files are BSA files, like I mentioned before, and they are compressed and encrypted. But if you look at them real close, this says FA0911.BSA. That's November of 2009. This one's FA0910. That's October of 2009, June of 2009. And each of these files is the complete data store for that month. You can see they're really, really small, so you, you should probably never have a problem with grooming them. But if you ever decide that you want to back them up, your normal file backups will cover all of those files by default. But if you want to copy them to a CD and delete the files, you can. If you need to restore it, you just copy the files back, and files are automatically forgotten. If you look at these other machines, these files here, you'll see the same sort of data. And that's these are workstation machines. Uh, these some files that you see as an aside is an uncompressed version of the data store that is only used for reporting uh, for speed purposes. The actual compressed data is in these. This is the secured one. And let's, say, let's see how we, uh, how we did. So verify access to the audit log. We showed that. Oh, I didn't show you the forensic screens because that's something else that's actually you have to show. You have to show that the interface is for people to use them. So let's go ahead and over to the forensic screens. If we show the activity for the previous hour, Now it's uncompressing the data stores and do it whatever it needs to do to get our data on the screen. You can see that when access was denied here by this user at this time. You can filter all this stuff. So if you only wanted to see BSA files, BSA. There's the BSA files. Or if you want to protect it for a certain user. Um, there's a bunch of filters up here too, like if you want to filter this this way, you only want to see a certain program accessing the data, or like for instance, in our case, this was the program that was accessed, it was the hex editor I was using, and there's even more options in here. So if you want to limit it to fixed drives, or network drives, or whatever, and this is a nice little slice and dice information if you want to find something, you want to look for some data. There's a new screen in 2.5, which is this one, and that's the research screen. So if we were to make this the previous month, this is interesting. This is the way to analyze trend analysis so you can see different things. And uh, it's really interesting. For instance, if this is by file type by user, if we were to do it like this, it breaks it this way. Let's do it by, oh, we only have one month. So let's do time of day. So you can see who is accessing what files at what time of day. So at the 8 o'clock hour, these are the kind of files that Gene opens. And Frank doesn't do anything at all which is really kind of interesting. Or if you want to do it the other way, you can see numbers this way. It looks like BSA files, I opened them here, a total of 18, and I did some at 3, some 2 at 1. Hmm. And it's just a really nice slice and dice style to interface. So you can do trend analysis on what you're looking for. The day of the week, who's accessing the most data? Looks like on Tuesday, Gene accessed 94 files of interest. And 23 here, and only one on Friday. He must take Fridays off or something. And Frank did everything on Tuesday. Hmm. Or if you want to look at operations, this is just a new interface that we have to allow you to look for different things. And you can, if you double click on it, it'll show you the actual details. And if you see something that's interesting, like that one, hmm, he's opened manifest files. What is that? You double click on it and it gives you the actual details. It's very interesting. So that's our two uh, slice and dices. You've seen the reporting. You can see everything that uh, FileShare can offer in the PCI space. And uh, that's it.